The Eurasian tree sparrow, Passer montanus, is a passerine bird in the sparrow family with a rich chestnut crown and nape, and a black patch on each pure white cheek. The sexes are similarly plumaged, and young birds are a duller version of the adult. This sparrow breeds over most of temperate Eurasia and Southeast Asia, where it is known as the tree sparrow. And it has been introduced elsewhere including the United States, where it is known as the Eurasian tree sparrow or German sparrow to differentiate it from the native unrelated American tree sparrow. Although several subspecies are recognized, the appearance of this bird varies little across its extensive range. The Eurasian tree sparrow's untidy nest is built in a natural cavity. A hole in a building or the disused nest of a European magpie or white stork. The typical clutch is five or six eggs which hatch in under two weeks. This sparrow feeds mainly on seeds. But invertebrates are also consumed, particularly during the breeding season. As with other small birds, infection by parasites and diseases, and predation by birds of prey take their toll. And the typical lifespan is about two years. The Eurasian tree sparrow is widespread in the towns and cities of Eastern Asia, but in Europe it is a bird of lightly wooded open countryside. With the house sparrow breeding in the more urban areas, the Eurasian tree sparrow's extensive range and large population ensure that it is not endangered globally. But there have been large declines in Western European populations, in part due to changes in farming practices involving increased use of herbicides and loss of winter stubble fields. In Eastern Asia and Western Australia, this species is sometimes viewed as a pest, although it is also widely celebrated in Oriental art. The Eurasian tree sparrow is 12.5 to 14 centimeters, 5 minus 5 plus 1 half in, long, with a wingspan of about 21 centimeters, 8.3 in, and a weight of 24 grams, 0.85 ounces, making it roughly 10% smaller than the house sparrow, the adult's crown, and nape are rich chestnut, and there is a kidney-shaped black ear patch on each pure white cheek. The chin, throat, and the area between the bill and throat are black. The upper parts are light brown, streaked with black. And the brown wings have two distinct narrow white bars. The legs are pale brown, and the bill is lead blue in summer, becoming almost black in winter. This sparrow is distinctive even within its genus in that it has no plumage differences between the sexes. The juvenile also resembles the adult. Although the colors tend to be duller, its contrasting face pattern makes this species easily identifiable in all plumages, the smaller size and brown, not gray. Crown are additional differences from the male house sparrow. Adult and juvenile Eurasian tree sparrows undergo a slow complete mold in the autumn and show an increase in body mass despite a reduction in stored fat. The change in mass is due to an increase in blood volume to support active feather growth and a generally higher water content in the body. The Eurasian tree sparrow has no true song, but its vocalizations include an excited series of TS chip calls given by unpaired or courting males. Other monosyllabic chirps are used in social contacts, and the flight call is a harsh tech. A study comparing the vocalizations of the introduced Missouri population with those of birds from Germany showed that the U.S. birds had fewer shared syllable types, memes, and more structure within the population than the European sparrows. This may have resulted from the small size of the founding North American population and a consequent loss of genetic diversity. El gorrión arborícola euroasiático, Passer montanus, es un ave paseriforme de la familia de los gorriones con una rica corona y nuca castañas, y una mancha negra en cada mejilla de color blanco puro. Los sexos tienen un plumaje similar y las aves jóvenes son una versión más apagada del adulto. Este gorrión se reproduce en la mayor parte de la zona templada de Eurasia y el sudeste asiático. 
donde se le conoce como gorrión arborícola, y se ha introducido en otros lugares, incluidos los Estados Unidos. Donde se le conoce como gorrión arbóreo euroasiático o gorrión alemán para diferenciarlo del nativo. Gorrión americano no relacionado, aunque se reconocen varias subespecies. La apariencia de esta ave varía poco a lo largo de su extensa área de distribución. El desordenado nido del gorrión arborícola se construye en una cavidad natural. Un agujero en un edificio o el nido en desuso de una urraca europea o una cigüeña blanca. La puesta típica es de cinco o seis huevos que eclosionan en menos de dos semanas. Este gorrión se alimenta principalmente de semillas, pero también consume invertebrados, especialmente durante la época de cría. Al igual que con otras aves pequeñas, la infección por parásitos y enfermedades, y la depredación por aves rapaces pasan factura, y la vida útil típica es de aproximadamente dos años. El gorrión arbóreo euroasiático está muy extendido en los pueblos y ciudades del este de Asia, pero en Europa es un ave de campo abierto poco boscoso. Y el gorrión común se reproduce en las áreas más urbanas. La amplia área de distribución y la gran población del gorrión arborícola euroasiático aseguran que no esté en peligro de extinción a nivel mundial. Pero ha habido grandes disminuciones en las poblaciones de Europa Occidental. En parte debido a cambios en las prácticas agrícolas que implican un mayor uso de herbicidas y la pérdida de campos de rastrojo de invierno. En el este de Asia y el oeste de Australia. Esta especie a veces se considera una plaga, aunque también es muy celebrada en el arte oriental. El gorrión arborícola euroasiático mide 12,5 menos 14 centímetros, 5 a 5 más 1 2 PULGADAS, de largo. Con una envergadura de aproximadamente 21 centímetros, 8,3 pulgadas, y un peso de 24 gramos, 0,85 onzas, lo que lo hace aproximadamente un 10% más pequeño que el gorrión común. La coronilla y la nuca del adulto son de un rico castaño, y hay un parche negro en la oreja en forma de riñón en cada mejilla de color blanco puro, el mentón. La garganta y el área entre el pico y la garganta son negros. Las partes superiores son de color marrón claro, con rayas negras y las alas marrones tienen dos barras blancas angostas distintas. Las patas son de color marrón pálido y el pico es de color azul plomo en verano, volviéndose casi negro.